Hey, hey, hey! It's the Asian Video Gamer here. Coming to you with a special play. Another role play, actually. It's special because I actually recorded how I got to this point. And I'll be showcasing that later in a different video. But today, we're gonna show the Mystic Knight from Final Fantasy. And right off the bat, I got parried like a noob and got killed. But what's so special about Mystic Knight? Well, Mystic Knight can use buffs on their sword. So you can cast Fire Ga on your sword. And every time you swing with your sword now, it deals fire damage. Well, in Final Fantasy, that's what happens. In Dark Souls, it's just a basic buff, basically. So there's Fire Ga. Um, I think it's Ice Ga. Or something. And the other one is S Thundergar. It's a weird naming convention from Final Fantasy, but for those who knows it, should be able to tell. And uh, I'm going in the, the appearance. Appear appearance is going by the one in Final Fantasy V, where he's wearing like a sort of like a Ravik type of outfit. This is as close as I can get, which is still cool. I think this looks kind of cool. And the shield is, uh, at first is using the magic shield. I don't, I don't use it much in this, in this, uh, video. I couldn't get anybody to be parried, but I got parried a lot. Like right, I, I'm guessing like right now the claymore is really, really predictable. So it's not really a weapon that I should be, or maybe I'm just really not. Um, well practiced with this weapon right now but anyways the jits of this uh, role play is just buffing your weapon and then no other spells other than the great magic barrier which represents shell the mystic knight can cast shell and this basically is the same thing <laughs> So I've been uh, doing a lot of these videos lately in the last three months. Um, I realized like getting playing Dark Souls PvP does get a lot of a, a lot more tension than my other videos, and that's okay. You know what? Seeing seeing a number on my videos is actually quite rewarding. Like I never expected to you know even get a few hundred views a week let alone like I get a hundred views almost daily now which is cool which is cool it's not like I'm it's actually not that good like it's really insignificant but for me it's actually quite you know it's I'm quite happy um, once I get more subscribers or, you know, like, more constant people watching my stuff, then I'll try, like, the, the end goal of my videos is to create a series of, I don't know, more lore base regarding the, the video, uh, the video game that I'm playing. So, example would be, like, Dynasty Warriors. A lot of people don't know the backstory of Dynasty Warriors. A lot do. A lot of Asian players do. But Westerners might not know the historic significance of the characters in the in that game. And you know, might be interested in all the warfare and all the conflicts and all the uh, actual well not actual the the lore that it's based on. Because the story mode in the in the game it doesn't do the real story justice at all. It leaves out a lot of details and glorifies a lot of people, which shouldn't really be. It's kind of biased. Well, it's Chinese history, but 
written by like like the game is made by Japanese, so there are going to be some differences. So hopefully I'll when I play that game and uh, do some videos on that, I'll be able to create some entertaining videos at the same time more informative informative but for now I'll stick to Dark Souls PvP until I my, my viewer base is more uh, more substantial because I think there's a system on how YouTube does things like your vi videos only get a couple of days of uh, really being shown on the search bar and after a few days like it just goes into oblivion and if people do search it up then you know like like the first day is usually the highest jump afterwards you just steadily keep like a couple of views a day or something which is okay i don't really care and that's about it about uh me talking about youtube stuff and about this channel Let's go back to the gameplay. So, right now, I'm kind of really bored in the fact that, you know, everybody's just PvPing on the bridge. Like, there's not much... There, there usually is a lot of different places people go to when they go play PvP, but for some reason I've just not been able to. And the only way I can do this right now is just stay in the Belfry Soul area. I like this area because it's big and you people don't usually fall off and there's no constricting like bridge but the problem with that place is that you usually get one v2 really bad if you're a ghost here i invaded somebody that in in the shaded woods and it's kind of funny that you know like this guy just stood there and waited for me i actually took like five minutes before i found this guy <laughs> And the fog, man, it really covers up the thing. You know, I just want to buff my weapon because, you know, like, just to stay true to this build. But, you know, because of that, I get killed. Nothing I can do about it. It's okay. He's a puncher build. Again, another inv invade. And another guy using a uh, chameleon. It's actually quite a neat spell, I guess. This guy, I think he's actually trying... I don't know what he was doing, but I'm guessing he's not up for the fight because... Yeah, he's not doing much. He didn't even hit me once. I don't know what he was waiting for. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is going to be the last fight. It's actually quite intense as well. Um, note what I said before about the Claymore being predictable. You'll see something really, really crazy from this guy. So, if you like the video, please subscribe, do a share. Oh, there it is. There's the parry. I got home. But he couldn't kill me. He didn't pull out a dagger. That's too bad. Now we're close to, uh, we're both close to dying. One more hit the roll stab and that's it guys I'll see you guys soon with the uh, how, how I made this build videos toodles